You're listening to the PlantX Podcast, the digital face of the plant-based community. Join us as we explore the inner workings of all things plant-based, from the products and lifestyles to the people behind them. Each week, we'll be touching on what's new in the ever-expanding world of PlantX and chat with everyone from entrepreneurs and chefs to nutritionists and scientists. Whether you follow a strict plant-based diet or just want to learn more, you're invited. I welcome our host, the man who combined his love of e-commerce and the plant-based lifestyle to create PlantX, Sean Dollinger. Hey everyone, welcome to our 24th vodcast, the PlantX vodcast. And again, thank you so much to our customers, our shareholders, and our investors who join us each week to learn a little bit more about the PlantX story. And again, for anybody who's visiting us for the first time today, uh, PlantX, we're your one-stop shop for everything plant-based. So if you're looking for meal delivery, grocery, we've now added refrigerated items, plants for the home, we've uh, segued into the whole PlantX lifestyle. And we want people to come and feel welcomed. We don't judge at PlantX. If someone's just trying to be plant-based for the first time, we'd love you to come and check out all the incredible products that we have. Today on our show, we have Matthew Kenny, who we announced a partnership with a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I refer to him as the godfather of plant-based uh, living and eating. He's uh, opened up dozens of restaurants all around the world, and uh, we're just so thankful to have him join us. And again, this is your chance you know, to come and be part of the show and be interactive. That's why we run this live. So people could send in their questions, while we're having the interview, while we're having the guest on, so that we make most of your time. I could sit here and speak for hours about our company that I love so much and that I founded. But at the end of the day, you know, we really want you to get what you want out of these shows. So um, on that note, and before I bring Matthew on, uh, if you do like the show, make sure to subscribe and recommend it to others so that they could learn all about what Plantex is all about. Matthew, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. Pleasure to be here. Hey, and um, you know, before we jump into uh, what you're all about and what we're going to be doing together, uh, we always ask, how do you take your coffee? <laughs> well, today it was some uh, organic extra virgin coconut milk, but you know, I'll take it however I can get it most days because I've, I've been working a lot. So that one coffee in the morning is absolute necessity. Yeah, I, I hear you on that and uh, love hearing the different ways. Uh, people love having it, love trying it out. So I definitely got to give that a try. And, um, you know, on that note, like I mentioned in the in the start of uh, today's podcast, you have dozens of restaurants around the world, 12 cookbooks, I believe, uh, tons of different partnerships. And you were in this before anyone who was really speaking about plant-based living. You know, how did you have the vision to do this? It, you know, the thing is, what's most interesting today is that the term plant-based wasn't even used when I got into it. It was, it was, we were part of, I guess, a movement that, that really discussed about, you know, the, the theory of plant-based, but I had been leaning more and more toward a healthy lifestyle. I, I had these competing passions. One was health and wellness. I love fitness and exercise and fresh food, but I also love great food and wine and restaurants and the whole hospitality industry. And classically, the hospitality industry is a bit in conflict with what happens in health and wellness, because the first thing I learned in French culinary school, more salt, more butter, more cream, uh, more flavor. And the last one's really important. It is critical to have great flavor and great presentation, but the rest of it, it really wasn't promoting wellness. And, and I've, I really came to the realization over many years that to fully enjoy food. And when I say fully, I mean, not just enjoy the taste, but enjoy it when you wake up the next day, enjoy it three days later, because you're, you know, not only having great flavors, but also new nutrition. It was a long process for me to reconcile the dichotomy between the two passions in my life. And I guess it was a light bulb moment about 20 years ago where I finally came to the realization that if somebody could 
bring plant-based to the top on the food chain that really could redefine our relationship with food and at the same time promote sustainability, promote health for the citizens and, uh, and really just set us up for something that has much more longevity in general. Yeah, that's great. And uh, Michael from our team uh, had the chance to visit your restaurant uh, last week and he said it was absolutely amazing and uh, he was blown away by it. He said it was uh, some of the best plant-based food he's ever had. So that's pretty, pretty great on that. And then um, I know you have your, um, your store, New Delhi, which is in Venice. And uh, it was amazing when you and I started speaking how I've been on a plant-based journey for 10 years, but we just started Plantex pretty much last April. And when I started telling you about the concept that we were coming up with, you're like, I've been doing that for a few years and it's pretty unique. And off our announcement today with the Bay, uh, it's so important, the merchandising side of things and creating the selection. And a lot of people make announcements with famous people or celebrities and it's fluff, right? They go ahead, they announce it and it's just for PR purposes. And what I love so much about it, our relationship I can't even count the amount of hours that your team's been on with ours and working on building something so amazing. Maybe you could speak a little bit about your experience on the merchandising side of things and how important that is on the rollout here for the Hudson Bay Corporation, which if you didn't know, is the oldest company here in Canada, 350 years. And Hudson Bay owns Saks Fifth Avenue, right? Correct, yes. Yeah, we're inside Saks Fifth Avenue in Chicago. Well, so cool. I have this, um, this obsession with health food stores, which is a very strange thing to have, but uh, starting way back in college, dozens of, years ago, dozens of years ago, I lived across the street from old school uh, health food store. It wasn't a vegan store, but you know, all the, the greens and the brown rices and what they call it back in those days, hoop cheese. Um, and um, I just, I loved it, you know, in my, my entire life. So when the opportunity came to open a convenience store three or four years ago, I was really excited because I'm so into products and specifically sourcing new products before they're really well known and, and things that are you know unprocessed and innovative and interesting. And it's not just the food or the taste, but it's like the packaging, it's the whole thing, you know, that the curation of products is an art in and of itself. And it took us a long time with New Delhi. I mean, we opened and I thought I knew that this business, like I think I know everyone. And, and then two years later, I'm like, okay, now I finally get it. You know, we have a team, we know how to source the right mix of products that are curated, the right mix of essentials. And it was really flowing. And that was around the time I met you. But before I met you, I was reading about Plant X opening in San Diego. And I'm like, who are these, who are these guys? You know, they're doing what we're, they're doing what we're doing. So I, I never really, had the uh, connection to connect with you until our friend actually connected us. And it was just the, one of the most natural fits that in business that's happened. I felt like we went through a lot of the trials and tribulations that can add a lot of value to, uh, to your platform because you're gonna grow a lot faster than we were intending to grow with that particular model. So it was just great synergy. And it's been like that with everything we've done together. Yeah, I always uh, quote to the team, one plus one equals 11. And sometimes I got sideway looks about that comment. And as soon as I said it to you, it seems like you probably have used that comment in the past, just the acceleration that we've had and that I know that we'll have, it's going to be uh, phenomenal. And uh, uh, again, we always encourage, and today there's so many questions coming in and it's so great to see because that's really what this is all about. And we always like to do a giveaway for fun each week when uh, people are interacting and I was blown away. We went to, and obviously you've been helping us with the launch of the grocery store, uh, which will be our first uh, prototype out of Squamish, BC. And it looks incredible. I, I pulled up there, I'm looking around and the shelving is all up and I'm like, there's no, there's no contractors around and there's no builders around and I'm looking around and Corey and Steve, who started the Locavore, you know, they kind of raised their hands and they're like, Sean, we, we decided to roll up our sleeves and do the whole place ourselves. And, you know, when, when team members go above and beyond like that, it really touches me. It shows how much people actually, you know, love what they're doing at Plantex. And we feel that from you guys as well. So I'd love to give away the Fruit Delight basket uh, this week. We'll send it over to them and hopefully they could enjoy some plant-based products. So thanks guys for, for working 
so hard. And uh, Matthew, so we focused on the uh, merchandising side of things at uh, the Bay. And again, thank you very much to the Bay for believing in Plant X and reaching out to us and seeing us as uh, the leader in the plant-based space here in Canada. Uh, really excited about that. One industry that's blowing up ever since uh, COVID, and we've even seen it since we launched our meal delivery in April of 2020. We see the numbers grow steadily each week. Drew and his team put together this really nice packaging and really getting it to the next level. It wasn't easy. So with your experience and the amount of years that you've dedicated to developing different techniques and everything, could you speak to our investors and shareholders a little bit about how that partnership looks with MKC, obviously your company, uh, maybe let's not disclose the location that you guys uh, perhaps picked out because I think that's going to be really exciting for investors and shareholders. But maybe speak about how big that industry could be and what your thoughts are on it. Well, it's it's a obviously a rapidly growing. One of my closest friends was one of the first people to develop uh, ghost kitchens and meal plans well before some of the more known brands. So I was, I've was i watched him for years. We talk every week and I've learned so much about the industry. And, you know, we're focused on doing what we do with everything that we're involved in, which is taking uh, a chef's approach or culinary approach to an industry that typically doesn't have that level of culinary expertise. We're really very respectful of the logistics and the packaging challenges and the shipping challenges and so forth and the growing market. But at the same time, we really want to bring something new with you know handcrafted cuisine and innovative recipes and and using our experience with I, I call it mise en place for anybody who's worked in a kitchen it's all about you know how organized you are and I want to take the same approach with our meal plan having things that are very easy to put together and at the same time with a tremendous amount of thought behind them so we're trying to put more work on us less on the consumer and and provide things that I think would not normally fit into a meal plan program because we do have that experience with, you know, for example, in pre-theater in a fine dining restaurant in New York City, pre-theater, you're serving three-star Michelin cuisine, but serving an entire dining room, 150 people within 45 minutes or an hour. Um, so it's really about organization and about the thought in the back end to make it easier on the consumer. And, and you know, I just want this to be like the best meal plan experience that that exists that's our goal yeah amazing and you put us leaps and bounds ahead of anybody who uh who's coming out of the gate and alex uh, hoffman who uh co-founded the the company you know we were in this situation where yes we needed to make the move into the us but we would have been starting from scratch and what does the team know really about getting it out there. We know e-com at the end of the day. That's our strength. We're a technology company at the end of the day. We want to connect with consumers, but you're the expert in preparing all this uh, greatness. And uh, listen, food at the end of the day makes people extremely happy. And uh, the more great food we get out there, the more people who will try our platform and try all the unique items on it. So, um, you know, thank you for believing enough in us to, uh, to jump in and, uh, work on something so special with us. I'm excited. And like I said, we won't divulge the, uh, the space, but we're, we're probably launching from the most impressive meal plan kitchen facility that exists um, globally. So I'm really excited for when we can share that. Yeah, and uh, that's coming from someone who's got decades of experience in kitchens. So when I see your team writing how amazing the space is, it gets me really excited and uh, I can't wait to share that with our, our investors and shareholders. Um, you know, again, I said that this uh, vodcast has been extremely active. We have uh, uh, somebody by the name of CP who uh, wrote in, what's your favorite vegan dessert? And he's asking that to you. Well, maybe I'm a little boring. It's always gelato, but vegan gelato um, or tiramisu. I'm a little old school with desserts. like. With food, it's uh, ultra innovation, you know, is the best, but desserts, I'm like, give me a great chocolate or great gelato or a really good plant-based tiramisu. That's awesome. And then um, somebody's asking, when do you think that meal delivery uh, will begin in our partnership in the US? Well, 
soon. I mean, I think I imagine we will be able to um, to do some sort of beta testing in, in May. Um, that's that that's the goal. And um, from a from a functional perspective, from a production perspective, we're already we've already developed a lot of the content and the know how. So the things that in this industry that can slow you down a little are challenges with packaging and procuring certain things that we need to get it out there. But you know, Sean and Plantex are experts with with delivery and with shipping. And I think we're really solid when it comes to food production. So as long as you can get all of the components together, we'll be ready quite quickly. And we had another viewer actually ask the, the question on the missing piece there, which I know Matt from your team has spoke about a bunch, uh, packaging. What's the idea on that side of things? Well, that's that's the challenge. We want to use, you know, packaging that is sustainable, but also attractive, that, that is durable, and, and also presents the food really well. I mean, presentation is, what's that phrase? Presentation is 99% or something like that. So, um, you know, we have several good sources of packaging because of COVID in the last year, most of our restaurants were required to go into a delivery model for several months. And because of that, we've developed relationships with sustainable packaging suppliers throughout the country. So we're, we're betting, you know, half a dozen different options right now, but it will definitely be as sustainable as possible and, and thoughtful throughout the entire process. Awesome. No. And again, Matthew, I know you're really busy and for you to take time to come here on a Monday evening to uh, share your feelings about Plantex and what we'll be doing together. We thank you very much. And uh, obviously we welcome you and your whole team, to the Plantex family officially. And uh, we look forward to changing people's lives, making them experience something that they might not realize how incredible it could be. So, um, you know, thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Every day's a journey. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Matthew. So, um, you know, to our investors and shareholders, again, thank you for, for joining here on a Monday evening, taking the time out of uh, your day to learn a little bit more about Plantex. And you can see, once again, 24 episodes uh, and counting. And uh, just week after week, you could see the incredible partnerships that we announced. Uh, the different people that come in with such knowledge. And it's amazing when you create something that's so unique and so special, the people that it attracts and even the team members that call in, uh, you know, we're always saying it's unbelievable. Look at this person's resume and they're coming to this company that's only been around for a year. So, um, and, and only in a year, what we've been able to accomplish uh, purchasing one of the leading European plant-based subscription companies, the Locavore and Squamish, which I beg everybody to go check out. It's COVID friendly, smiles. It's a little escape every day. And the grocery store that'll be opening on Friday will introduce people to such unique products in an area where they're not always readily available. So we can't wait for that to start. We've raised $35 million. Uh, you know, we have well over 25 million cash still in the bank, no debt, already on pace to do $20 million run rate, uh, currently growing every single day. And again, partnerships like this just keep bringing Plantex to the next level. So again, thank you so much for believing in us. And until next week, stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy. Cheers.